Is your subcontractor violating any rules and regulations? Then it is important to know that there is available remedy to correct the situation. In a process called cancellation of registration. Upon the verified complaint, the Dull Regional Director can commence the cancellation of registration of contractors or subcontractors based on valid grounds. And after due process, the grounds for cancellation of registration are Misrepresentation of facts in the application Submission of a falsified or tampered application or supporting documents to the application for registration Non-submission of service agreement between the principal and the subcontractor when required to do so Non-submission of the required semi-annual report Findings through arbitration that the contractor has engaged in labor-only contracting and or the prohibited activities Non-compliance with labor standards and working conditions Findings of violation of the rights of contractors employees or the required contracts Non-compliance with SSS, HDMF, PhilHealth, and ECC laws Collecting any fees not authorized by law and other applicable rules and regulations Any complaint based on the valid grounds should be filed in writing and should be under oath with the Dole Regional Office which issued the Certificate of Registration The complaint shall state the name and address of the complainant, name and address of the contractor, the grounds for cancellation, when and where the action complained of happened, the amount of money claim, if any, and the relief sought to cancel the registration of an erring contractor, due process must be strictly observed. Upon receipt of the complaint, the Dole Regional Director shall direct the contractor, with notice to the complainant, to file a verified answer or counter affidavit, within 10 calendar days, incorporating all pertinent documents, with proof of service of a copy to the complainant. A clarificatory hearing may be conducted by the Dole Regional Director or his or representative within 10 calendar days within which to file a verified answer counter affidavit. The contractor shall make the corrections on the violations that are immediately rectifiable within the period. The hearings shall be terminated within 15 calendar days, from the first clarificatory hearing. The Regional Director shall resolve the case within 10 working days from the last hearing. If there is no need to conduct a hearing, the case shall be resolved within 10 working days from receipt of the verified answer or counter affidavit. The order of the Regional Director is appealable to the Secretary of Labor within 10 working days from receipt of the order. The Office of the Secretary has 30 working days from receipt of the records of the case to resolve the appeal. The decision of the Secretary shall become final and executory after 10 days from receipt by the parties. Once the certificate of registration is cancelled, the contractor is denied legitimate status to engage in contracting or subcontracting arrangements. It also serves as a ground to deny application for renewal of registration to a contractor. The cancellation of the registration will not impair the validity of existing legitimate job contracting arrangements the contractor may have entered into prior to the cancellation of registration. Lastly, contracting with a delisted contractor shall make the principal the direct employer of all employees under the service agreement. That concludes our discussion on contracting and subcontracting in the Philippines. Join us again as we take on another module to educate our general public.